Welcome to the Board Game Rundown. Today we're going to show you how to set up Nemesis by Awaken Realms. Now, if you need to have part two, which is the how to play, uh, click on the link here, and we'll probably have one in the description below, and you can go right there. Now, this is a really complicated beast of a game, uh, and to make it a little easier for you, we have added links in the description below to different sections of the game so that you can scroll to what you need to see immediately. Here we go. Nemesis is a semi-cooperative game for one to five players where you play as the crew members of the spaceship Nemesis. You and your teammates are woken early from hibernation to the sound of the ship's alarms going off. As you try to gather your wits to find out what is wrong, one of you discovers a member of your team has died. The crew has to fix the engines, check the coordinates, and keep the ship in one piece long enough for the hibernation chamber to open up again. But everywhere you go, you hear strange noises that make you believe someone or something has gotten on board. And if that's not hard enough, you aren't sure that you can even trust your own teammates. Now the goal of the game is to meet your objective without dying. Before we begin, I'd like to point out, Nemesis has a lot of expansions, and there's a campaign mode which will change the way that you set up the game. We are going to show you how to set up the core game with the intruder aliens that come with the core game. First, you lay out the board. The side with the three arrows is for the base game. The other side is for campaigns or if you want a greater challenge. Now the box has two trays in it. In the lower tray, you will find hexagonal tiles that each have either a one or a two on them. Go ahead and randomly place the two tiles on the hexagonal map spaces marked with a two. Next, shuffle the one tiles and place them on the one spaces. You will have some left over. Just put them face down back in the box. These are the rooms of the nemesis that you will be discovering. Now in the upper tray, you will find small hexagonal tiles with a question mark on the back. These are called exploration tiles. Shuffle them up and place one in the middle of each room tile with the question mark facing up. Next, take one of the clear status markers and place it on the green 15 of the time track at the bottom of the board. Place another status marker on the B space just above the cockpit. On the other end of the ship, you have three engine rooms. Each engine room has two tiles, one indicating a damaged engine and the other a working engine. Take the two tiles for engine one and shuffle them. Then place them face down on its space on the board. Repeat this for the other two engines. Now you need to take the escape pod tiles and place them with the locked side up on their spots on the game board, alternating between the A bay and the B bay. So for two players, you will only use two pods. For three to four, you will use three pods. And for five players, you will use all four pods. The top tray will also include an intruder board. Just place it next to the game board and put five egg tokens on it, on the eggs in the nest area. Now you take out the intruder bag as well. The game includes several intruder tokens with some strange symbols on one side and numbers on the other. Lay these tokens out with the symbols facing up. On the intruder board is a guide to what those symbols represent. Place the queen token, the blank token, one creeper token, four larvae tokens, and three adult tokens into the bag and then add one more adult token per player. The rest of the tokens go back into the tray. This bag represents the belly of the ship where the intruders are hiding. The alien types are queen, breeder, adult, creeper, and larva. Keep the top tray with all its pieces nearby as you will need them throughout the game. The bottom tray includes several decks of cards in two different sizes. Among the small cards are four item decks with different backs. The technical deck, the military deck, the medical deck, and the crafted deck. Set these decks next to the board. There are also eight coordinate cards. Randomly select one of them and place it on the board next to the cockpit face down. Next. Randomly select 
three of the eight intruder weakness cards and place them like this on the intruder board face down. We'll use the other small cards in just a moment, so set them aside for now. The larger cards include Intruder Attack, Serious Wound, Event, and Contamination Decks. Set these decks next to the board. The Help cards have player numbers on them. Take the number equal to the number of players you have and deal them out randomly. Then give each player the card holder with their player number on it. The player with one goes first and will get the Space Cat, the first player token. Now the players have to decide if they are playing a semi-cooperative or fully cooperative game. If playing semi-cooperative, which we highly recommend, use the corporate and personal objective decks. Shuffle each deck individually and deal one of each face down to every player. If you are playing alone or cooperative, you will instead give each player one face-up card from the solo co-op objective deck, two for solo play. After seeing your objectives, players draft for which characters they will play. Shuffle the character draft cards. Player one draws two cards from the top, keeps one, and hands the other to player two. Player two draws one more from the top, picks between the two characters and hands the other one to player three, and so on. Repeat this until all players have a role, then reveal your roles and hand each player their character board. The card holder fits at the top of the board. You can put the draft cards back into the tray. Now everyone places their character mini on the hibernation chamber in the middle of the map along with the blue character corpse token to indicate their fallen comrade. Give each player their unique action deck of 10 cards placed on the left side of their board. Each player also gets these three small cards, two quest items placed next to their boards with the horizontal side showing, and one unique starting weapon placed in one of the hand slots under their character board. Each weapon tells you how much ammo it gets. Put that many red tokens on the card. Give player one the space cat, first player token. We're now ready to play the game. Check out the next video to see the rules on how to play. Thanks for checking out the board game rundown. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Share our videos on social media and spread the word. We publish new content weekly, including reviews, unboxing, and let's plays. And as always, thanks for watching.